The girl takes off her coat, and then she skillfully prepares to undergo the process of incarceration. The reason she's so familiar with the process is because it's not her first time in prison. Anna was a 17-year-old girl sent to prison for murder. She's been in and out of many prisons, so she's obviously very familiar with the detention process. Anna watched the staff carry out her transfer without any emotional ups and downs. After the transfer, Anna stepped up to the wall to measure her height. Then she voluntarily removed her clothes. But this prison doesn't really have that process. Anna was then taken to the dormitory. Unlike the dormitories in other prisons, the conditions here are not bad. Soon three women came in, her roommates. These three women didn't look very friendly, but Anna wasn't a pushover who hasn't been put in jail for their own efforts. One day, while the group was cooking in the kitchen, prison director Jean came in. The man was dressed in a black suit and had a beard. His sophisticated attire was a stark contrast to the others. He walks up to Anna and warns her to behave properly here. Then he took a female prisoner into a corner. The two of them whispered. That day there was a fashion show in the prison and the women were very happy. Because it was the only big event they could attend in prison. All the leaders of the prison would come to watch the show. If any of the inmates did well, they might even get their sentences reduced. It was Anna's turn. She wore a white dress and was pushed onto the catwalk by her roommate. Anna walks carelessly, not taking the show seriously. She walked to the end of the runway and did something with her hair. In fact, it was a sight that caught Jean's eye. Jean was married with children, and his wife worked in the prison. They both occasionally go to the kindergarten to watch their daughter perform. Due to the specific nature of their jobs, their daughter was often ostracized at the kindergarten. Jean was furious. He doesn't understand how it, as a public official, can be looked at differently. On the other hand, Anna's good looks caused jealousy among the female inmates. One of the women went up to Anna and tried to teach her a lesson, but Anna is not a goodie to shoes. The two of them fought, and neither one of them would let the other go. Anna was interviewed alone by Jean about the fight. Jean warned her that it wouldn't happen again. Anna asked Jean about the progress of her case, and asked him to see if he could help reduce her sentence. Jean, of course, refused. I'm afraid it's a bit of a difficult favor. This prison director fell in love with a female inmate. He used his power to get her a separate cell in the prison. It became a dating place for the two of them. Jean went to learn about Anna's case because she was so pretty. When she found out, she was going to be sentenced to 13 years in prison. Anna was devastated. She didn't want to waste her golden years in prison. So she had to find a way to reduce her sentence. On the day of her trial, Anna put on makeup and a sexy dress. She wanted to make a good impression on the judge. But the verdict wasn't good. So Anna started writing letters to Jean saying she wanted to go back to work in the kitchen. Anna had heard that Jean was using his position to keep in touch with the female inmates. She knew all about casting couches. Since the trial couldn't get her out, she had to work hard to please the man. Jean offered her a job as a buyer. In addition, Jean took the initiative to make physical contact with her outside of work. Anna understood Jean's intentions. She began to hint at him through her words and behavior. Even writing to him, she wrote that she had fallen in love with Jean and couldn't stop thinking about him. That night, there was an emergency at the prison, and Jean arrived in time to deal with it. After the emergency was over, Jean lay on the couch. He was carrying in his arms a love letter from Anna that he treasured. The next morning, he asked Anna to meet him again. This time he gave Anna a kiss, which she didn't refuse. In the following days, Jean often used his position to meet Anna alone. At the same time, Jean's heart was torn. He was afraid he'd lose his job. He wanted to help Anna to transfer. It would be better for both of them. Anna was so angry that she turned her back on him. That day, Jean's wife needed a mole when she gave a class to the female inmates. Anna saw Jean standing upstairs and raised her hand to say she wanted to be a model. Anna looked at Jean boldly and unashamedly. Jean's wife also noticed her. Jean changed his mind after that. He stopped thinking about transferring Anna to another prison and even trimmed her hair himself. He willingly sank into an incestuous relationship. From then on, this cell became a place of pleasure for both of them. Jean even gave Anna a cell phone to keep in touch. But every time, Anna wanted Jean to stay longer. Jean went home early, citing family commitments. The female inmate puts on red lips. Her body is beautifully curved in the setting sun. And then a man came to her. He finally lost himself in the trap she set. After a while, his wife noticed that Jean was always looking at her cell phone. She seems to have discovered Jean's secret. For the sake of his family and his work, Jean had to cut off contact with Anna for a while. Anna was devastated. Her emotions became uncontrollable and she took a lot of drugs. Then she was hospitalized. Jean went to visit Anna as soon as he got the news. They embraced each other. Jean forgot to pick up his wife and daughter at the station. His wife, who heard about Jean's scandal, let her husband sleep on the couch. The next day, the prison authorities opened an investigation. Anna was transferred to another prison. But in the meantime, Jean was still at it. He went to the roof of the new prison. 
he set off fireworks to attract Anna's attention. Then he made a phone call to Anna. He said he couldn't live without Anna. Anna was given a short vacation for her good behavior in prison. Her first vacation time was dedicated to Jean. The two of them went to a hotel to have some fun. This time they didn't have to sneak around. But Anna knew that Jean had a wife and a daughter. So he wouldn't give up everything for her. At the end of his short vacation, Jean returned to his family. By now his wife knew everything about her husband's infidelity. Then Anna called her. After a brief conversation, Elise hung up. She wanted Anna to leave Jean. But Anna didn't call her on purpose to annoy her, but because she was pregnant. At that moment, Anna wanted a warm family, but she didn't want to break up Jean's. Soon the guardianship director found out about Jean's affair with a female inmate. Jean was suspended. They found the records of Jean's cell phone card purchases. A co-worker advised Jean to turn Anna in if he wanted to keep his job and said he was being coerced by Anna. But Jean refused. At this point, he was really in love with Anna. Sometime later, Anna's case was retried because the man Anna killed had a heart condition. So Anna was convicted of manslaughter and was soon released. Jean happily drove to pick her up on the day of her release, but then Anna changed her attitude towards him. She treated Jean with indifference. However, a young man was walking in the distance. This man is Anna's ex-boyfriend. Jean was devastated by what he saw. He finally realized that he had lost everything for Anna and ended up like this. And it was all just a deal.